anyway hi guys thank you so much for joining us today welcome to the channel i've got my support system right here with <laughs> us and today we'll just be doing some fun questions it's kind of a game but we are talking to each other and answering some questions that you guys can also join in you and your partner you and your friends or just be by yourself and join us as we answer the questions i've got them right here on my husband's phone mm -hmm. so it's just i ask a question we say a question timo answers i answer and we move on to the next one so pretty straightforward yeah very straightforward so if you see me looking down i'm just looking at the phone to choose the question that we're gonna answer so to start us off sweetheart mm. where is your favorite place to escape to well, right now for me, it's mm. the shed, mm -hmm. work on the cars, mm -hmm. but, or car, but um, I suppose once the car's finished, mm -hmm. it might be driving the car itself. Mm, that was, I'm looking forward to that, by the way. Yeah. For those who, I don't think I've ever shared on this channel, by the way, but. Maybe you have. Oh no, just on your Instagram. Yeah, I've shared yeah. it on my Instagram, but on, not on the channel with you guys. Tim is building his is it a dream car or not really it's, it's just a, a convenience car <laughs> <laughs> i have an old car in the shed that i'm mucking around with so as a 1960 1967 car that he's building and oh my god i don't go to the shed quite often but <laughs> him just telling me the progress mm. i think it's coming to a finish mm, not right away but it's it's coming to a major uh, milestone major milestone if you're interested i can share by the way he does have his channel as well where he shares his um car building and stuff is that the right word to say yeah yeah, yeah. shameless plug he has his youtube channel and i'm gonna <laughs> link it yeah and uh who talked me into having a youtube channel oh yeah by yeah. the way mm. i talked him into starting his own channel because i watch people doing what i do on YouTube yeah and so she goes so you watch people that do the same thing that you do in the shed on YouTube I said yes I watch people that do the same thing that I do every day in the shed um, I watch what they do she goes well why don't you have your own channel then going well okay yeah. and the fact that you know uh, my brothers are all in a regional area uh, either oh they're spread all over my, my family spread all over my my friends are spread all over so it is a convenient way to um to share to share because all the friends that he grew up with they yeah. do same they're into cars yeah we're all into cars so. vintage cars to call oh, them yeah vintage cars i suppose they are now yeah, yeah. vintage cars they are now Six, so they, it's like a 67 model is 50 how many years 55 years old nearly 67 no it's uh yeah almost yeah. 55 years old 55 years old car yeah, basically 55 years old, so I guess that's vintage. But, um, yeah, uh, the boys are spread all over the place. My, my friends that I grew up with are spread all over, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's funny when they catch up. Like, I feel so out of place sometimes because it just, <laughs> it's just so natural for them to just start talking cars and mm. you're just hearing carburetors, uh, I don't camshaft. know, yeah, camshaft. <laughs> so anyway, so guys, I'm going to link it in the description yeah. down below. Yeah. If you're interested, you can check it out. But what I mean that his car is almost finished, guys, I'm going to put a video, no, a picture. I'll put a picture right here of yeah. the car when he brought it home. It just looked like an empty box. Sorry to say. <laughs> That's, yeah, that is a good way to describe it. Yeah, and now the engine is in. Uh, yeah. Are the seats done? No, the seats aren't done. But that's quick. Mm. It depends how much it fights me. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. It should be quick. It should be quick. It should be quick. <laughs> <laughs> so he's waiting to have the car start in two weeks. Yeah. In two that's, weeks. Yeah, start and run in two weeks and then... Um, can't yeah. wait. and then it's uh, interior and then body well so, there you yeah, go most, guys. most of the body panels are fine yeah but yeah interior um, will be a few weeks of work so yeah. that's exciting guys and he's not don't say you bring your cars for him to fix because he modern cars <laughs> definitely not modern cars he's not touching it but yeah. that's um yeah i yeah. thought i'll just say that here so 
that's your favorite place where you yeah i guess so yeah you the escape place escape to yeah where what's my escape place where do i uh what's the one place you know tiktok what <laughs> No, I haven't been on TikTok no, that's for true. a while. That's true. You haven't been on TikTok for a while. You know why? Because um, the only time I'm with my phone, I think it's during bedtime, mm. and Junior is sleeping, and I don't want to wake yeah. him up with laughter. Mm. So I guess yeah. my escape, um, my favorite place to escape to is I think YouTube. I can say or the mm. kitchen or yeah maybe. But even when you when you play with uh, when you play with Junior. Oh yeah. You you go away to a, to a far away land. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I guess yeah. I don't have a specific place where I escape to now, but hopefully in the future we will have an office where I could be escaping to. Mm. Anyway, moving on to the next question Good is uh, who do you think has had the largest influence on the person you are today? For me, dad, no question. Your dad? Yeah. yeah. Easy, so. like far and away. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, dad. We see you. Okay. Thank you for making him the man he is today. Mm. Uh, for me, who is the... Um, who do you think has had the largest influence on the person you are today? Mm. Uncle Marsh. No, really. No. <laughs> <laughs> the largest influence. Influence, you mean like he's influenced me in. He or she, yeah. He or she has influenced me in the way Teachers I think. Or no. Mentor? No, I don't even think I have a mentor anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I think myself. That, that doesn't work like that, darling. I, I, th I think it yeah, will. I have influenced me as well, but. <laughs> <laughs> But who who do you think taught you the most? Who taught me the most? I'll say mum and dad. Mum and dad? Mum yeah. or dad? What do you think? Um, well, mum has taught me things and dad has taught me things. Okay. So So you, you think your parents, there's I, no I, one person but you There's parents. no one person, yeah. Mm. And also, who has influenced me? Well... YouTube wise, I have someone who has influenced me to be a YouTuber. <laughs> and my life, yeah, I think my parents, that's yeah. that's for sure. Makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah. That's always, that was a hard one for me, but yeah, I think my parents have influenced me to be who I am today. Mm. Uh if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Can you guys see? <laughs> 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 not to say that I'm not proud of it, but can you guys see that Heathrow? There's a friend of mine who used to call my forehead Heathrow Airport. <laughs> it's a joke. Yes, it's a joke. Yeah, yeah he's like, hey Heathrow. But I don't know if he, we, st we don't talk anymore. Mm. But yeah, he used to call my forehead Heathrow. So if there's one thing that I would change, is just put my hairline just a little bit farther this way. Not to say that I'm not proud of my face and stuff, my features, but of course I can't change it, so I'm not changing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can change that. No, but, but no. I guess I've answered that question. Yeah, okay. Um, probably... Um, oh, let me let me interrupt you yeah, first. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be your physical, it yeah, can be it, your... It doesn't say non-physical? No. Physical, non-physical? If you could change one thing, just one, one thing, thing. anything. Okay. Whether it's how you walk, how you talk, yeah. how you... whatever. Um, sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, I think one, uh, yeah, I think one of the most, uh, frustrating things about myself is that I, um, brain fog, brain fog, brain fog or brain fart, <laughs> where I can't think, I, I could describe what I'm trying to say, but I can't think of a single word that will describe it. And then, um, and then, I don't know, after the fact I go, Oh, that's, that's the, the word. word. <laughs> that's, yeah. Well, I'll say one thing. You're lucky you don't get mummy brain. Yeah, okay. Because with mummy brain, I'll be thinking of, I know the word and it's at the back there, but I can't bring it out. Um, and it gets worse, apparently. It gets worse? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you Even, mean as the children get older? Or? Yeah, like it doesn't get better. 
Mm. It continues for an extended period of time. I don't know until how long. Mm. So if you're having brain fogs and I'm having brain fogs, then I hope Junior is going to save us. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he'll I be okay. I hope Garnet will save us. Yeah. But, yeah. But um, I think I used to, it used to be a lot, lot worse um, before I started taking that um, Brahmi. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Taking a, an Indian herb that um, helps you not be brain foggy, so... <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really good stuff it's yeah. yeah but we're not marketing it yet mm. oh we could be but we're not oh. well they well we could we could but we're not we're not no. <laughs> it helps him but tell me if you're having brain fog or brain fats as he calls them mm. let me know in the comment section and i might just help you mm. i'm sure uh, there's a there's a hundred different brands there's no particular brand that i take i just but this this one specifically you you know for a fact it does help you. Oh, yeah. So it's night and day difference. If, yeah, if you're recommending someone it's from experience and mm, a, yeah. a long yeah. extended period of times, not mm. just one one use. Yeah. Alright, so moving on to the next question. If you had one day left to leave, what would you do first? I'd probably just call everyone. I'd just call everyone I can think of and just have a chat. Just catch up. If you had one day to leave. Yeah. You call everyone. I'll just call everyone. Just go through from top to bottom. Call everyone and just have a have a catch up. Oh. Just go. Yeah, I'm dying tomorrow. So. <laughs> God forbid. I'd, you know, God just, forbid. Yeah. <laughs> just so I'd catch up. Oops. We, oops. oops. Mm -hmm. we haven't spoken in a while. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. Do you know what I will do? <laughs> I will spend my day um, hugging Garnet. Yeah. And... Well, that's that's probably true too. But. But I'm not dying. So. Yeah. Let's move on swiftly to the next question. <laughs> um, what decade do you feel you most belong in? As in, I would be at home no, the what, most? No, in, what decade? Decade. Decade. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, do you feel like throughout you... history, uh -huh. what what ten year period would I fit in the the most? Probably the nineteen sixties. Nineteen sixties. Yeah, but it's true. It's because of the car. Yeah, my phone just decided to cut us off. But anyway, we were saying, Timo will be in the sixteen hundreds. No, nineteen sixties. Nineteen sixties. Because of the cars. And also because of technology, sweetheart. I'm yeah, I don't sorry. Like technology. I can't be bothered. Like these, yeah. you you stuck. <laughs> you you for sure for sure. I don't mm. doubt it. The music was good too. 1960s. Yeah, that's. I don't know any music from the 1960s. Oh, but there's a lot of 1970s music that I like too, 80s as well. So, so maybe you, if I could take the. Take the. Oh, no, I could live with it. I could live with it. If I was stuck in a specific decade uh -huh. for, the, for the rest of eternity. Okay. Uh -huh. 1960s. Probably the 1960s, yeah. And you were not even born. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many things mm. I would want to share about you hating technology. Like I've said, um, like when we were buying our uh, my pre my latest car, I was like, I want a 2023 car, and he wasn't having it. He's like, No, they're too high tech. No, what you modern cars. Anything modern? They TV. Just break down. They're just not reliable. Phones. I, it's more things to go wrong. <laughs> more gizmos, more gadgets. It's more things to go wrong. Where else? I just want to jump on the newest trend. Mm. But anyway, so if I was, um, <laughs> if I if I could, no, what is it? Mm, if you could, if, no, if what decade? You, where do you, yeah, what what decade do you feel you you most belong in? I think I belong in the decade that I was born in. Okay, you know, so two thousands. I wasn't so, born in two thousands, but. Mm. Um, because that's when I started knowing myself. Okay. okay. Well, you, you so I guess you became an adult in the early 2000s. Yeah. So okay. I think the 2000s. No, so 90s. There. 90s. Sorry. 90. I'm a 90 babe. 90s babe. I think. Your memories basically start in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. I think 90s for me. And because there's so many good things that happened well, memories, we think not they're good memories, but when we were experiencing them, definitely we didn't think they were good memories. <laughs> you know, if you're Kenyan, you know Kimbo, 
you know kati you know omo pika box it's all greek to you you know yes. yeah just how we grew up that's basically i will still want to be stuck in that decade and we can hear someone coming in there on his car okay next question who is the one person in this world that knows you best i think you uh, you know me best i suppose so cuz he knows me uh yeah i would say you yeah i'd probably think you as well yeah cuz you've seen some sides of me that i don't think <laughs> <laughs> in the five years pregnancy was rough oh yeah he's seen <laughs> sides of me that i don't think anyone else has seen yeah. um what is your favorite quality about your best friend um he likes the same cars you do yeah i think that'd have to be it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah he does yeah he does he likes the same type of cars that i do i don't have a best friend so that doesn't really well, yes you do do i yeah Who? jess in norabi well she's far away she's miles okay, she's further away than my friend but my friend's you okay so he's a 5 hour flight away she's a 24 hour flight away yeah so neither of them are close but qualities i don't know maybe cuz um if i'm being honest it's uh where you will just talk about anything without being judged like if i needed to call you and vent about him <laughs> you'll just listen and not tell me he's an idiot mm. cuz you know just a space to vent i think that's the best qualities um of my f- best friends that i've had in the past uh next question uh when you, this is an interesting one when you were younger what did you think you were going to be when you grow up <laughs> <laughs> what did you think <clears throat> this i don't know what did i think i was going to be yeah. or what did i want to be i wanted to shear sheep because my dad <laughs> my dad was a shearer so no what did you think you were gonna be probably a mechanic a mechanic yeah but then because you like you liked cars yeah But when I was when I was young, young, mm-hmm. I just wanted to shear sheep because that's what my dad did. did. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to smoke rolly tobacco because you know, smoke <laughs> roll your own cigarettes because that's what my dad did. I wanted to shear sheep. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, put, um, you know, that's just wanted to shear sheep and <laughs> smoke rollies because that's what my dad did. Yeah. Interesting, interesting in the sense that. You as you as you your dad is your hero when you're growing up, so you just want to be anything that he is. Yeah, uh, interesting. Just have an unlit cigarette uh, hanging <laughs> off my bottom lip, and it wobbles as you talk. You know, <laughs> 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 unlit. It's not unlit. Clear. Yeah, it's it's because it's uh roll so, like roll, roll your own. Yeah. There's no there's no rocket fuel in there to keep it burning. Ah. In the tailor made cigarettes, there's rocket fuel in there to keep them burning. Mm. So yeah. Uh me what did I who did I think I was going to be when I grow up? Honestly, I thought I was going to be a pilot. A pilot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How? Don't ask me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> This is the, the the mind of a child can <laughs> can copy anything. Cuz we used to see yeah. planes passing by. Oh, okay. And we used to be told, "Who do you want to be when you grow up? Who do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be yeah. a pilot." Yeah. And then when I was a teenager, I thought I was going to be an air hostess. Oh, okay. And then I applied for the job, but I never got feedback. Oh. Cuz I started coming here. Oh, okay. So, and that's how I even got my passport. Hmm. I want to work. I wanted to work for Qatar Airways. Okay. <laughs> Dreams are valid. Okay, moving on to the next question. What's one thing that happened to you that has made you a stronger person? One is definitely um relocating from Kenya coming to Australia. Like it has shown me like I'm stronger than I think I am. Some things that I have had to deal with on my own because I moved here on my own. So you don't have my mom here, didn't have my brothers or my family members and I just had to deal them to deal with them by myself that has really shown me um what of a strong person I am and what I can do uh while dealing with difficult situations and stuff like that. Mm. 
Well, that's probably the same for me. Living away from my family and um, even more, my best friends in Perth. So that applies to the both of us. And same as you guys, you can tell us in the comment section what's the one thing that has made you strong. Mm. Don't be shy. Just let us know in the comment section. So moving on to the next question. If you could identify with one fictional character from a book, show or movie, who would it be? This is a best that one for I you. Identify as in you, identify you see that, with. that they are like you? Yeah. Is that what the, yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know. A character from a book or a movie or something? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you yeah. go first and I have I go first. I can just think of Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. And what was her name? Um, I can't even remember, but someone. Um, I can't remember the name, I'm sorry, but mm. I'm not so much into fictional yeah. movies and stuff. So, But it says movie, book. Or... A fictional, one fictional character. T yeah, okay, so TV show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um... I know I wanted to be like Wolverine when I was a kid. I just loved Wolverine. But what is Wolverine? I don't know. Well, come on. I don't know. You don't, don't know Wolverine? No. Mm. Uh, vacuum cleaner? Oh, no. Vacuum cleaner? No, darling. Uh-huh. The X-Men? Okay, we're going to have to watch all the X-Men. <laughs> oh, X-Men, all... yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You've made me watch that one before. Wolverine has claws. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I Oops. wanted to be Wolverine when I was a kid. Well, there you go. Yeah, because he heals really quickly and then, you know, like, you can't hurt him because he heals so quick. So, ah, oh, he's healed, yeah. he's healed by the time, you know. Anyway. Yeah. Mum duties, we had to make sure <laughs> the little guy is <laughs> sorted. Yeah. But we just have two more questions to go. I hope you guys are still enjoying the video and you're joining us down there in the comment section to answer the questions as well. We're having a good time. Are you having a good yeah, time? Yeah. 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 Right. So... Um, Second last question. Do you easily accept compliments or do you hate compliments? Um, I don't really have a problem with compliments. You don't have a, pro a problem with compliments? No. Same as me. No. I easily, easily um, accept them. Yeah. Finally, the last... I mean, unless it's rubbish. If someone's saying something... And you're just like... Oh, yeah, definitely. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> no, <I've... laughs> I know what you mean. He's a really good swimmer. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like... Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Though. Yeah. Unless it's rubbish and they're just... They're yeah. just trying to... Blow smoke. Blow smoke? Yeah. Yeah. So, lastly, the question is, who? what is your favorite attribute about yourself? Physical or non-physical attribute about yourself? Mm. Um, can I go first? Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. My favorite attribute about myself is that I cannot stay mad at anybody or anything for long. Mm. If someone pissed me off, I will get mad for an hour and then I'll just forget and I'll... <laughs> and move on. And move on like nothing happened. And mm. it's it's not very good and it's my best quality as well because I don't keep things, you know, I don't keep mm. grudges and I don't keep... Except, except for the pregnancy. She was pissed off as probably <laughs> six of the nine months. <laughs> but that's... Now I, I didn't keep it. <laughs> yeah, but now it's gone. It only lasted six months. I mean... Guys, <laughs> anyway. like, it's it's pregnancy. Yeah. Honestly, we need another video of things they don't tell you about pregnancy. Yeah. We do need yeah. a whole video on that one because clearly, Tim's got a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got something to say. Lot that's for sure. to say. I've got something to say. But yeah, anyway, you go um, now. What was the question again? Uh, what's your favorite attribute? Oh, attribute about myself. Yeah. Um, um, I, I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty brave. Like not a, not afraid to tackle. Um, not not afraid to approach things, new things. Not not afraid to try new things. Not afraid to um, try something or do something or. You know. Yeah, you're open-minded to yeah. trying. Also, whether, one... whether it be, but I mean, even sometimes confrontation or sometimes. Um... That's what I was gonna say. That's what I was. I thought you were gonna say. Like you're not afraid of um, holding difficult conversations with people. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah. oftentimes I'll have something <clears throat> burning me, and I'll say, "Hey, sweetie, can we talk?" 
and he won't try to you know escape the mm. conversation he will full on accept the conversation mm. and invite the conversation and mm. go through the hard conversation without being defensive or yeah. I'm I can be very very defensive so with Timo he's not defensive he'll just have the conversation as is and I think also that's 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 mm. Yeah, I, yeah. I think um, it's not only in conversation or um, confrontation. Mm. I think I'm curious, mm. and I don't know. Life's an adventure, you know. You go yeah. here and you go, you do things, and it's it's more interesting if you're willing to you to know. be open minded. Yeah. What's one attribute you like about me? Uh, physical or non physical? Well, okay. We'll stay away from physical. <laughs> 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 non physical. Stay away from physical. Mm. Why? Well, we got to keep it PG. Okay. <laughs> um. Um. I don't know. You're very kind. Okay. Mm. Very kind. Mm. That's good. Can you tell me the physical in my ear? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Uh, and the what's the one physical? I'll answer the same for you. Well, one attribute I like about you is that you're the same one. You said you're open-minded. Mm. Like you're accepting to come on here and talk about these things with me. I mean, that's one thing you gotta like. <laughs> <laughs> well, he should be in the shed fixing his car. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, guys, baby is unsettled as you yeah, can hear him. Yeah, you can hear in the background. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's his sleeping time. He's yeah. with my mom. So we'll just yeah. end the conversation here. And We're a couple of minutes overdue. We should probably go. Yeah. Tend to the boy. Ten, attend to him. And, mm. you know, he's, it's his sleeping time now. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for mm. joining us on this video. Thank you, Suri, for That's okay. coming here and talking. Mm answering questions no but, yeah but yeah. yeah guys thank you so much and we'll see you on my next video and by the way guys some good news we are getting monetized <laughs> yeah. i'll share with that i'll share that with you in my next one so yeah thank you and we'll see you next one bye, bye, -bye.